I came to check out your masterpiece. Yeah, we're doing some uh, mastering. <laughs> I still can't believe you're doing this. There's a right tool for the job and this is not it. Nobody's cheating. Hey! Those are just the spreader bars. We're gonna make others with seats. How many do you need for that right there? Three. 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 Welcome back to Build and Battle. Just to get you up to date, the guys have been absolutely shredding to get their cars stripped apart, finding all the parts they need, getting their motors done. Brad and John are pretty much neck and neck on their budgets at like 75, 7,600 bucks. Team Brad, has returned a bunch of parts. They got a motor, they, it's sitting in there. They got a, a super custom header that is actually really sick. And then Team John, it looks like their cage is almost in. They picked up their motor. They're gonna build it today and have a lot of fun with that. So they're making progress. We almost have race cars. I think we're only a few days away. Bad Daddy Brady! Oh. And Jose. Clean today. Clean today? Unlike the last day you guys saw me where oh. I was completely dirty. Oh, you mean you? Yes. I thought you meant this area. No, this is going to stay pretty cool. <laughs> probably have to pull the motor six more times. Oh, man. Because as you know, last night we let off with our uh, fine header. Are you pretty stoked on this oh, or what? Yeah, that's not where it is. Look. Oh. It's, it's in there. It's in there, yeah. Eesh. It's in there. Today we are going to get the holes in the fire wall patch. Jose is going buck wild on the roll cage. We would like to have a roll cage in today. Tranny, we gotta get mocked up. This is just a housing, so to make sure that we have all the clearances correct. We're getting a rear end today, this afternoon, so it would be nice to get the rear end sitting on the leaf springs. As you guys know, the first rolling rear end was a failure. Old uh, big booty Judy didn't fit, so uh, we're gonna go back to a little, and it's so bad, we're using a Mustang rear end. It's like, so, so. Oh. <laughs> like, all the things we have to use. The Ford, Ford is here to a save your Ford day. Ford is here to get. That's Ford to say it, say it, Brad. Ford, Ford is here, here to, to save, save the day. day. <laughs> the blue oval. Oh man. So excited. Yeah. We have to spend $200 more and we're getting a Ford 8.8, which is like the internet favorite now, right underneath the 9.9. .9. Right. And it's already got disc brakes and everything. So it came with a set of steel wheels on it. Um, hopefully they're wide enough for our slicks and hopefully the offset's right. We're guessing on that. When we get it here this afternoon, we can put it underneath the leaf springs and hopefully get it back rolling. Have you guys started selling anything yet? We've had everything on for sale, but... Um, no bites? Four-cylinder <laughs> S10 parts aren't just yeah. items on the That's internet. what I was going to say. Nobody wants some shitty they S10 parts. They got gold over there at the RX-7 world. They really we got, do. We couldn't even give it to the trash man. They charge <laughs> us to take it away. <laughs> Jose, you got faith? Yeah. Vargas Brothers. What's up, man? El Diablos. I rock it. Fresh cage. Try to build the engine put the engine into the car. They have to make a transmission mount, and that'd be it for today, basically. When are you guys gonna mount up the rear end? Uh, well, we're waiting on the battle bar kit to show up. Does it show up yet? And we're waiting on the third member, too. I'm probably gonna order EGTs, EGT sensors, because we're trying to hit like high horsepower now, so we need, we need like more precision tuning. Right now, with the budget, we have pretty much everything to build the car. And all the stuff we're gonna sell is gonna add on to the look of the car. So you can spice her up nice. Yeah. All right. That's my car. I want it to look nice. <laughs> John's not trying to lose this thing. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll open the door. How much do we have? Wow. I think that's actually pretty you good. Gotta, you gotta bend in. Yeah, yeah, you gotta bend in right here. Oh, it's a bar bar. Yeah, what the f What? Hey. Oh, hey, sir. Hey, hey, I got it. I got it offered yesterday. Yeah, this is our bar. <laughs> it, it, it was too wide. And this one just happens to fit. Hello, Brad. What's up, Herc? Came to check out your masterpiece. Yeah, we're doing some uh, mastering. <laughs> I still can't believe you're doing this. I heard you guys are cheating. Cheating? What are you talking about? We're recycling. <laughs> Someone made a mistake and it just happened to work in our favor, so... <laughs> hey! Let me see what you got, show me. I, I oh, see you guys bend been. nothing. Dude, we don't need to bend. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so, pretty much fits pretty nice right there. So you just gotta pull so the like bars out? All I gotta do is, uh, well, like I still gotta bend this side to make it fit onto here. Mm. So I'll bend here, bend there, and then set that there. A bar from here to here, and then probably two bars for here so we can so we can do brackets off of that for the seats. Right. And then the other down bars that will go from here down straight to the chassis. You got, we need a team name. We need to start getting some team names over here. Burn truck? <laughs> <laughs> Either because it's gonna burn them or burn to pieces. Yeah. One or the other. <laughs> exactly. Yo, Mike. Hey. You're all set up over here? Yep. We got uh, the port already scribed on. We use this porting template right here. We designed this one ourselves, so it's, you know, we can't buy this. Already scribed, so I'm about to start porting. I'm getting all the bits I need to start doing it. Usually I like to start with a cone one and then try to like use a longer one to get better angles and better flow. Rotaries don't have cams. So this is the equivalent of a cam on a rotary, opening up the opening and the closing of the port. Is this bridge port and that street port? Yeah, if you don't use this one, this one's secondaries. This is the primary port right here, it's much smaller. So the middle plate has the primary port, the outer plates have this port over here. You can't keep opening this port up to the side because if not, the seals will fall out. So what you do is you leave a bridge for the seals and then you continue opening on the other side of that bridge. So as the rotor passes, the seals stay in place and you're stuck in an air from this side. So that's the bridge port right there. So that's, that's moving like half an inch. Time to do a quick check in on the boys, see what kind of progress they've made today. Brad's doing math, so that's not good. Uh, I'm doing my block off plates for the thing. So a nine by 10, a seven by seven, a four by three, and a three by three. Uh, sealing the firewall? Yeah, just a block off plate. Okay. After like, I don't know, seven or eight tries of clearancing and shrinking down this tubing to the smallest tubing we could find, Hey, the way it turns and it turns, turns and it doesn't hit the motor. It's just a little crooked. It's like me, okay? A little crooked, but works. Just like a little, right. a little yeah. sidestep. How you doing on this cage, Jose? Good. That, that, bad. that ended up working out well for you, huh? Yeah, that ended up working good. I cut these, these out. So these are the ones that are gonna go from here to there. So okay. Okay. Go here. We're gonna go somewhere right around that area, like that. Right. I can't put these on until I actually have the bed on there. Ah. So I'm gonna flip the bed over, cut whatever we need to right. put it on here. Other than that, it's just gonna be open space and then we're gonna cover it up with like a, like a tunnel cover. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the plan So it's right pretty now. simple then. Having fun yet? Yeah. How's the porting going? So, that looks got fun. one side done. This is a stock port. 
That's stock. Oh, that's what we're gonna run. That is not stock. So, that's quite a bit of difference. How long did that take you? Probably like 30 minutes. Okay, so took my time. Uh, this is a pretty aggressive port, so you know I have to keep in mind that water passages behind here. Oh, uh, so if you if you grind too low, yeah, if I angle it too much, it would actually blow through a hole through the whole. You pretty much passage. waste so, the whole housing. Yes. So next, I got to polish it and okay. so, nice. keep on moving with the other plates. Doing a little cleaning. Yeah, I get all the. Uh, all this like basically use this like it's like cooling paint yeah. so they can know like how to cut the rotors. Have to get it all off and the surface rust from how long it's at before we can assemble the rotors. So you're gonna beast mode the rotors. So you're building rotors, he's porting motors, yep. Serge is handling the cage. You guys are making moves. Yep. You need a job too, let me know. I got budget for you. And I'll see you later. Have a good day. You know, I wanna talk about the miller over here. Right now it's set up for MIG and TIG. We're using both of them right now. Right here, this is MIG welds. And this side over here, that's TIG. So as you can see, they're like cleaner, more precise compared to the MIG over here. Whichever way you decide to use is more of a preference of the person that's doing it. But given that we're switching around so much, like some people can TIG, some people can MIG or do both. Right here we have a straight piece of tubing and a notched one already. Right now it's on MIG, so the only thing we have to do is press the pedal and it'll switch the take by itself. So keep pushing down, pushing down, and once you get a puddle, you start dabbing the filler rod. If you get welding and then back out of the pedal real too quickly, it will just leave a hole and you'll have leaks everywhere. Now we're gonna switch back to MIG. And again, all you have to do is Press the button and it will switch. Depending on which one you're doing, TIG, switch, MIG, and just automatically switches. No buttons or anything. So, that right there is uh, a MIG weld. So it's a little bit higher right now, so you know I would just need to adjust the settings and back out the speed a little bit and raise the voltage a little bit. The motion is different uh, depending on which one you're using. Like one is you're moving in backwards and forward, and when this one you have to like forward and then up, forward and up. It's like loading it up, but pretty much it's like thicker, less precise. This is more precise. This is a little bit higher. So you can adjust the settings and get as close as you can to this, but I always prefer uh, TIG. So pretty much at this point, we need to cut out the bed so that we can fit the bars that are coming down from the main hoop. Uh, down to the chassis, so we're going to cut out pretty much from here all the way across uh, Come down from up top down all the way to the bottom all the way to here same thing on this side We're only gonna leave the mounting points. This is probably has about six uh, eight mounting points in total We're just gonna end up leaving four of them. So we're gonna cut out all of this I think I just finished cutting the bed. So this is what I got so far. The whole thing pretty much cut out all the way around. I'm probably gonna end up having to weld these completely so that at least it's it's not, it doesn't come off when, when we mount it on the truck. That's the only that one tack that's holding this whole thing. So we have that. Brad, what have you done? Right, tack welded all these things in and you know me and welding don't get along. Well, they don't look bad, looks no. good. I may not be an FD guy, but <laughs> I'm trying. There we go. Let's 
got to get our rear end back. Yeah. Yeah, it's got the fittings. You said four, right? Yep. Ooh, give, you can pay me 500 <laughs> if you want, man. Tip, man. Worst thing about selling our seven parts. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Okay. Yeah, we just basically sold the AC system for 400 bucks, so I was gonna go straight back to our budget to get more parts. So all the parts on this car are super rare. So you know, if something's working like on that, you know, 1983 car, like that's big money to sell that stuff. So you know, that's why we chose that car. Versus the the later model of it. Let it work. Alright. We got uh two of the plates done already. We just need uh finish polishing them up. We have to go get some sanding cones to polish the ports. This is the primary port of the engine. So this middle plate has two runners on it, one for each rotor. This is the rear plate, this is a secondary port. The port stays open, but the injectors only turn on in the high RPMs. So this is a high, uh, where you get your top end power. We have the primaries done, one secondary done, and we just need to do the last secondary. So this port is way bigger than the initial primary port. Primary port is for low end and idle, and this is the difference between the ports. We're gonna open it up from here all the way down here. We're not gonna do a bridge. We're gonna keep it as free port with a semi peripheral. All right, guys. We sent our boy to go get a, hold on. You did it really good. Anyways, we sent our boy to go get rear end number two. So we're gonna unload it, test fit it, and pray it fits. Cause I can't afford another one. Ford 8.8. Wheel center. Two wheel center. Before we were like 64. I believe this is in the 50s. So we won't stick out as far. We're gonna swing it in the Vita right now and get an idea. Oh yeah. Oh that look. Alright, right, so we sold another part off the car, which is the rear end. These are really hard to come by. Take care. Thanks, man. Another 500 bucks towards the budget. Alright, guys, so we didn't spend a lot. Uh, we just used our typical leaf spring style rear truck suspension. What these things do is have a lot of spring wrap and wheel hop and to prevent this thing from wrapping the spring with the big tires and hopping up and down we've got a set of performance shocks and calvert bars this is what we want to do it's always good when you open it up and it starts doing wheelies we are going to be running this here's our leaf spring right here and here's this bar right here and this bar right here keeps this leaf spring from twisting. Then we have these adjustable shocks, which is amazing because the way they adjust them is X, F, F, and R. Those are shown on the instructions and you turn them like this. <laughs> so we're gonna put these in what's called a 60-40 setting for the rear. And then we're gonna put our fronts at a 90-10. And that's stroke pressure, is basically what it is. So that piece goes in the front. That would be the other side. So here's our bottom leaf spring perch. I believe that one is that side. Because the shocks are on the inside. This basically goes from here to there. Just like that. So we'll get back at this tomorrow. We get the leaf springs back out and all these new bushings today. <laughs> Which is gonna cool. be fun. Because we need to do other places anyways. Yeah, so, yeah, no, I know. And I gotta take this out. That first one? Yeah, so we're gonna remove that spring right there. It's called an overload spring, or some people actually call it an anti-wrap spring. Because what it does is it hits the leaf spring and keeps it from wrapping. But we don't need the anti-wrap spring when we have these guys. These are an anti-wrap system. 
anti-rap system. Yeah, don't let Eminem know. Has most of the cage knocked out. Hit it the uh, front bars, and just do this little fancy bar here. So the next step is what? Uh, we're gonna be adding little guys to support our bands. Make little triangles. So what does that have to go there for? Is just to reinforce that bar? Yeah, yeah. Every time you bend, make a bend in the middle, you're weakening it. Mm -hmm. So you always want to support your bend All if right. you can. I think you just do it because it's gonna look fancy. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So after that, what's left on the cage? We remove the plates, drop it down. And then we'll weld the top, mm -hmm. lift it back up, and then weld in, weld uh, it in for like five. Well, the, after that, the cage is done. Like that's it. We gotta do the rear end when you guys get the. Uh -huh. What about like a harness bar and door oh, bars? Yeah. Uh, we're waiting for the seats right now uh, to set the harness bar and the height of the door bars. Door bars. Well, while he does that, we got to finish building the engine. Uh, the seals need to be cut to fit in here because they don't. When you buy the stuff new from Mazda. It doesn't just fit. You have to clearance it to to that. That little really thin. So with the cleaners the side seals, bearings are already in, and then we have to buy a bucket to build the engine in. After the engine's built, we can throw the engine in. We still don't have a transmission, but I think her has a spare one we, we can steal for now. Just for test fitting and until we find our transmission. <laughs> Alright, so as Brad has stated before, we're kind of broke while we're going broke. So we need some money in our budget, so we got all this stuff that came out of the truck, which we're not going to use. So I got the scrap metal guy that goes to my place to pick up all my scraps that I don't need. And he's going to give us some money for some of the stuff that we have here. So this will probably get us, I don't know exactly how much we're going to get out of it, but we'll get something and, uh, you know, get our budget up a little bit higher so we can, it can give us some money to, you know, get some parts. We got a whopping 140 bucks. Cool, and we got uh, free space now. We got money for a budget. We got Brad that just showed up. He went to get some bushings pressed for our leaf springs, and uh, well, I think we got a few other things that were not on the list. You're like my wife, accusing me of spending money I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Okay, it's for performance reasons. Isn't okay? this what you do? Yeah, explains a lot of my life. <laughs> so we went to go auto parts store simply, and I'm explaining it like you do your wife. I only wanted to get the bushings changed, you know, save a few bucks, and they didn't have them, and they couldn't do it. But he had a friend that was just down the street that actually does this. He puts bushings and leaf springs for people. So we drove down there, and we bring him, you know, the parts to put the bushings in, and he said, you know what? I have a new set of these sitting in the backyard. Would you be interested in buying them? I knew they were like four or $500 for mono leaves. I'm like, what do you want for them? Cause I don't have much money. You know, my wife didn't let me out of this house for too many dollars in my pocket. Give me 120 bucks and they're yours. Well, ultimately we were gonna spend $60 putting the bushings in the old leaf springs. So for another $60, we got new leaf springs. But these are heavy and they're not actually designed for drag racing. We're talking like at least 60 pounds. So you, so you say one. weight on this thing? Oh, and you can shit. see with these big guns, oh, you yeah, know. Do it, do it, do it again. No, I'm just slamming it. <laughs> yeah! One more time, one more yeah. time. It's thicker, it's got a little different spring rate. It rides a whole lot smoother. Caltrax actually suggests running these. And I noticed this is still an old bushing right here. No, it's actually about this? a newer bushing. He just said it had been sitting for a while. He promised us it was a new bushing. Okay, new bushing. 
Cool. So he spent 120 bucks. We made 140. We got 20 bucks left. Cool. Beer! Yeah. Beer! We got beer money. We're so yeah. tired of barbecuing. All right, the building battle continues. Let's see what the boys are up to today. I see a little bit of welding going on here. Brad scratching his head. That's not a good sign. He's a tape measure. That means I'm measuring <laughs> something. He's My Brad, brain. Brad math? <laughs> are you doing Brad math? Brad math. Is this a, you finally got a rear end that fits? A rear end that fits. Oh, would you look at that. The, it, it, oh, the it, truck bed's on too, I just noticed. It might be a Ford rear end in a Chevy. Mm. This side is mounted. I just gotta finish putting the other side together. But this side, everything is together. Shock, all the bolts and everything. We've gotta set pinion angle, which we haven't done yet. So as soon as we get weight on the truck and we get it down, We'll actually weld the purchase and get our pinion angle right. You measured up your drive shaft and everything? Or? No, Monday he's coming out. We have a guy coming out to do our drive line. All right. That's when the bit bank's gonna get broke. That's when we're going over budget. <laughs> Dude, we're like less than five hundred dollars from the oh, end of life. Buddy. Right now. What are the Vargas Bros up to? Uh, I'm getting some measurements for the wheels that we're gonna order. So one thing I gotta take into account when ordering it is that not all wheels are the same with the internal diameter. Some weld racing wheels can be kind of tight. On wait, the wait, wait. Area. You said weld racing? Yeah. They're running steelies. You guys got budget for weld racing? We got budget for anything. <laughs> yeah. It's a road where you with, a, with little money, you can build a lot. So well, you guys are saving all the money because you're the builders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the best part. John, I feel like you've been painting all day. Hey, man. Well, my shit look nice, okay? You building this today or what? Yeah. I'm not in a rush. The whole, the whole plan for today is to fill the engine and put it in, which is going to happen. We need a, a five gallon bucket to fill the engine in. <laughs> on it, we're going to fill that on it. Yeah. One five gallon bucket? Yeah. Boom, got it. Handle. Done, done deal. Two Puerto Rican ways. We want a fast car, build, build it in a bucket. bucket. All right. Bucket build coming now. Oh, now what what is this? Tranny. We don't have hundred dollars says motor and tranny is not in the car. Yeah, this is not budget. This is your my personal cash. It's got some cash. You're trying to side like bet? What's your, what's your transmission at? Not a case. A transmission. No. Okay. My motor and tranny will be in by the day. Where's your motor? No, and tranny? Where's your transmission at? It's on its way. It's in LA traffic. <laughs> so are you, is this a bet or not? Is this scared. a bet or not? Scared. A hundred bucks. So what's the bet? He ain't getting his motor training in this car at the end of the day. By when we leave at six o'clock, that motor's got to be fully assembled, everything dressed up, seven. and taking everything like and installed. It's almost seven o'clock. Is this a deal or not? What time is it? Let me see. All right, someone's getting real. This motor and transmission's gonna be in by seven. Okay. Put your hundred dollars down. I don't have cash, man. Here, I got. Put your credit card down. There you go. Dang, I got another one, too. Oh, no. Hey, don't post that oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta have a motor completely assembled, attached to a transmission, sitting in here bolted together. For this. Yeah. Just like ours. Motor and tranny, sitting in the frame rails, bolted together. I don't care if it doesn't have a trans mount or a drive shaft, but... The, and, and yeah, clutch, hey. transmission, put together. Yeah, hey, I'm not worried. It's man. Friday. He needs to go. It's Friday. It's Friday. We ain't leaving. Yeah, let's let, let's let Uncle Brad buy buy dinner tonight. No, but we're leaving by seven, so that's the end. Oh, like yeah, seven is we're done. That, our plan is to have this motor All in right. here, man, All because right. we got to flex. That's that's it. <laughs> All right, it's a done deal. I always say proof's in the pudding. You got three hours. Go look at the site. Uh, I'm good over here. Huh? 
Poppy was teasing, it's right here. Toy shop out here in Pomona, California. Called them a week ago. They set us up with a Turbo 400. It's got a shift kit. It's got a full manual valve body. It's also got a trans brake. So basically we can hold it at the light, hold this button down, and it'll just rev it to the moon, let the button go, and it's like dropping the clutch. It's rated for well over 800 horsepower. Okay. So the potential of the train is good. We can go up and up and up. We don't have to change anything there. So bulletproof for what you're building right bulletproof now. Bulletproof tranny, bulletproof torque converter. A torque converter is a billet torque converter done by TCI in Lake Havasu. These are the guys that helped me make my tea bucket go fast. Okay. Same people. They built us a nitrous, a uh, 3500 stall torque converter that we'll be going and putting in there. So you got your bucket. Yep, the bucket, the silicone ready, motors are ready, housings are all built up. There you go. Pump plate's gonna stay there. We're gonna put a housing on. A housing. We're gonna put a rotor on. A rotor. We're gonna put the shaft on. A shaft. Then we're gonna put the middle plate on. Middle plate. Then we're gonna put the other housing on. Other housing. The other rotor. The rear, other rotor. And then the rear plate and that's it. And then the rear plate. And, and it's it. like stacking it. Like a sandwich. Oh, so does that mean that the, the motor's not going to be put together? Oh, can I just collect my $100 no, now? No, it's going to be put together. Oh, so we're just going to put, you're thrashing my motor then. You, my motor ain't going to last because you have a defect bearing you're going to put in my motor. Right now we had a little problem with one of the bearings. It was binding right around here. We're just going to replace the bearing and, and put a new one. We don't want to have any problems, especially pushing the amount of power that this car is going to be doing. So we, we're going to replace the bearing. I already pressed it out. John's come, uh, go, went to the shop to pick up a bearing and we're gonna press it in, put the rotor back together and assemble the motor again. All right, John's back, where'd you go? To buy a bearing. You went to buy a bearing? Yeah. So you still got time to win this bet? Yeah, well, if the cow here is up, I'm good now. All right, it's... Hour and a half, let's go. Come on, boys. Come on, let's party, boys. Come on. Let's, get let's get it on. Did I hear compression noises? All right, look at through here. You can see the rotors. So you guys gonna drop this in today? Yeah. They're gonna use your tranny, by the way, because they don't have one. They can buy it. No, we're borrowing it. Borrowing no, it? No, we're not borrowing it. We're using it to make mounts. Using it to make mounts? Hey, where's now? Where's the money? Where's the money? We're test fitting your transmission. And then what are you gonna do? Well, well there's a test fit fee. Just buy it from me. You got budget. Hook your boy up. Look at that thing. It's leaking. It's not leaking. Yeah, look. It just made a mess. It's because you were carrying it wrong. Nah. 100 bucks that 150. 150? Yeah. We got training now. All right, yeah. $150 for the training? Wait, how much do people pay hey, for no, these? Nobody really wants it. No, wait, wait. Yeah, how <laughs> Getting the transmission on. Throw the engine in. Got the plane that's on 30 minutes. 247. And then we're gonna go eat a steak dinner. There we go. Take it. Okay. 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 Okay.
Time's up. Time's up. Hey, 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 no, hey, hey. Time's up. I guess someone else was 100 bucks. Where's Brad at? <laughs> it still counts. Oh, that's... Did he fart? <laughs> nah, he didn't catch it. Oh, I was like, that was so sweet and bounce off. And now to collect my debt, sir? You owe me for, uh, I'll let that slide. What happened with that bearing? Faulty bearing. That just happens? Yeah, that bearing. <laughs> it's trash now, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Like, Give us a quick rundown on this motor again. What all did you guys do to it? We cleaned it, painted it, built the rotors, built the motor, and put it in the car today. We also painted the engine bay. The only one they changed now is that this, this is called 12A. The transmission is almost lining up with the shifter hole, but because it's a 12A mount, it sits more back. We can just make it ourselves with all this, it's just extending the, yeah. these legs, and it'll pull the engine forward. Mm. Sergio tacked these pipes on right here. So that still needs to be welded. Uh, all this stuff needs to be welded still. So, you know, we can only have them for a certain amount of days given the budget. So we, John's gonna weld these tomorrow. But right now, this is pretty much what we're gonna have with the cage with the addition of the intrusion bars. Once we get the ladder bar kit on Monday, we're gonna finish the, the rear bars. All right, the Doritos in. How about that big old V8? We got all the bit bald eagles in there, cranked in there with the Turbo 400, the Ford rear end. Wait, wait say, say it again, say eight. it again. Wow. Stop it with the Ford. <laughs> he's right there too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You make me say something nice about Ford because he's standing right there. No better rear end. <laughs> Cal tracks are in, mono leafs are in, uh, shocks are mocked up. We got to basically center it and set the ring and pinion right. and weld the pads. So the next time you guys see us, we'll have wheels and tires on here with it sitting on the ground, setting the ring and pinion, uh, whatever. Pinion angle. Pinion angle, that stuff. I'm nervous because I'm on the ground. Because anyway. Brian's here? Brian's here makes you oh, nervous? Oh, that's what's making me nervous. So I'm here to fact check. <laughs> <laughs> fact check. Nobody wants to be around Brian and fact check mode. Yeah, it's, that's bad. Monday, we are going to build the trans mount, set pinion angle, order the drive line. So we'll get our drive shaft out here, probably have it out here by Tuesday. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on fuel lines, oil lines, and coolers. So by Wednesday, I wanna say we can do our first initial download and fire up. We're trying to be on the dyno by Friday. What do you think, Friday? Yeah. You're, you're really going for it. Oh, I want dyno by Friday. So what do you think uh, your budget's at? Over. I can build a 10 second car for 10 grand. We're 50-50 right now. It's gonna be a good race. Yeah. Comment below if you think that yeah. real, real men race on radios. Comment below if you want him to finish his car. <laughs> they, they've been commenting below for like seven months. No difference. Cars still don't run. <laughs>